Writer Ernest Hemingway described Paris as a movable feast. He moved to the city with his first wife Hadley in 1921 when he was 21. The young couple lived in a diminutive apartment with no running water and a bathroom that consisted of primarily a bucket. He rented another space nearby where he concentrated on his writing. Hemingway's fondest and most productive memory was his acquaintance with contemporary artists that fermented his development as a writer. The members comprising this legendary lost generation included Gertrude Stein, Ezra Pound, Picasso, and James Joyce. In 1923, the Hemingway couple left Paris for a year while Hadley had their first child in Toronto. They returned to Paris and he wrote with greater proficiency completing The Sun Also Rises and Men Without Women. His philandering ruined the marriage in 1927 when his wife discovered his affair with Pauline Pfeiffer, a fashion reporter. They divorced. He would marry Pfeiffer a few months afterwards. They would depart for Key West the following year. He summarized his Parisian experience best in his writings. Wherever you go for the rest of your life, it, meaning Paris, stays with you.